That was some good worship. Yeah, Enjoyed it. Enough. Praise yeah. God. Got excited at first, and then I got into the presence of God. And that's yeah. God. It's, it's good. It's good. Praise God. Well, I got a little word for you all this morning. Yeah. This sermon is entitled, Rooted in the Word. Yeah. Rooted in the Word. And so, I'm going to make an analogy of us being like a plant and being rooted in the Word. And so as I go through this sermon, just understand, it's like an analogy of us being a plant. And, and you know, we could very well be plants. Mm -hmm. We were created from the dirt. Mm -hmm. We can't forget that. We came from the dust, according to Scripture. We're going to use a text out of Proverbs 3, 1 through 8. So today we'll discuss what it means to be rooted in the Word. And like I said, this like an analogy of us being a plant. Like every plant, if it's going to grow, it's got to be watered. Mm -hmm. And so as spiritual beings, we have to be watered with the Word. And so this is what we'll be stressing in this sermon today. To be rooted, one needs to plant ourselves in the fertile soil of God's truth. And that's what we're about, God's truth. His word is truth, so we're all about God's word. Learning the many promises the Lord has throughout his word. This will take a commitment we must make to grow lasting roots and not roots that can be easily uprooted. So we got to have roots that grow deep. Grab a hold of the soil of God's fertile word and be able to stand firm knowing that we're grounded in his word. We need to understand that the enemy of our soul wants you to stay out of God's word. And so when you don't pick up your Bible, guess what? It's the enemy telling you don't pick up your word. It may be lying right there and you're looking at it, but you don't pick it up. We need to uh, develop a sense and a need to pick up the Word. Even if we only read one chapter or one psalm, but just make it something that you do daily to be in His Word. That's, you know, like I said, we're an analogy of a plant. That, that's watering yourself with the God, with God's Word. You understand what I'm saying? So we, we need that. <clears throat> We must allow ourselves to develop roots, roots that grow strong and deep in order for us to have a meaningful life that represents a life lived to please God. Mm -hmm. Believe me, if you pick up the Bible and you start reading it, it makes God happy. Oh yeah, my child's in my word. What am I going to show her today? What am I going to show him today? And so it's important. It pleases God. <clears throat> success now. I want you to get a hold of this. Stuff. Success in life comes from being rooted in the Word. So that when storms in life comes, one's roots are firmly grounded in the soil of His Word. You get that? So when a storm comes, you're grounded <coughs> in God's Word and that storm ain't going to overtake you. You're going to overcome because of you being planted in God's Word. Now, understand this now. Your success is going to be in direct proportion to the time you spend growing your roots from God's Word. Just like we've said before. Little word, little faith. So it's going to be in direct proportion to the time you spend in God's Word. If you ain't spent enough time in it, then your roots ain't going to be that deep, ain't going to be that strong. When that storm comes, you might not be able to stand. And so you got to understand that. Having roots developed by His words means we will trust the Lord. Now, let's read what Jeremiah said about roots. 
Turn with me to Jeremiah 17. I know we've read this before, but let's read it again. Jeremiah 17. And here the prophet talks about the analogy that I'm giving you. Let's look at Jeremiah. We're going to look at two verses here. 7 and 8. Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8. Check it out. It says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. Now he says, For he shall be like a tree planted by the water. So what's going to happen to its roots? It's going to grow deep. It's going to grow strong because it's, it's by the, the water. It's planted by the waters. And it says, Which spreads out its roots by the river and will never fear when heat comes. And, and for us, fear is, is, is when we get scared of what's happening in the world, the economy, my job. And you're worried about all those things, but if you're planted in God's word, God is your source. You don't have to be worried about that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're going to do the right thing. You're going to ask for wisdom. God will show you what to do during those times. But here, this is what he's telling us. Let me read this again. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when he comes. But its leaves will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Do you know that God expects you to yield fruit? He expects you to be productive. You know, it's one thing to sit back and let's just absorb the word and hear the word, but we have to be doers of the word. He expects us to do something with it. And so we have to understand that we got to be doers of the word. Life in God's kingdom can bring awesome blessings when our roots are well established in the soil of his word. Now, I want to want us to go to a parable that Jesus said about the soil. So turn with me to Matthew 13. And let's look at it. Let's read it. Matthew 13. And I'm only going to read the part. Jesus, when he gave this parable, he gave it to the people. And then later on, the disciples came and told him, what did you mean, Jesus? And so then he sat, He sits down the disciples and explains it to them. And so we're going to read the part where Jesus explains it to them, explains it to them in verse 18. Matthew 13, verse 18. He tells them, therefore, hear the parable of the soul. Now, I want you to understand that <clears throat> the word is the seed that Jesus is talking about here. Okay? So he says, you know, hear the parable of the sower. We're sowers. The seed is God's word. Okay? <clears throat> when someone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. What does the devil do? Steal, kill, and destroy. He comes and steals the word from you. So that's what he's saying right here. When he hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches, snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is he who receives seed by the wayside. Now, verse 20. But he who receives the seed on, in a stony place is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. So he receives the blessing right away of God's word, but it doesn't stick with him long enough because when a storm comes, all of a sudden he's lost. He, he didn't have no soil in which to grow. He stumbles. Immediately he stumbles. Verse 23 now. 
Now he who receives seed among the thorns, remember, seed is God's word. Therefore, him who receives seed among the thorns is he who hears the word, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becomes unfruitful. Now, remember, I said we're to be fruitful. We can't just be hearers. We've got to be doers. There's got to be fruit produced. And so the one that received it amongst the thorns, right away, the deceit, or in other words, the desires for riches, that person is wanting, it's all about me. What I want, not what God wants, but what I want. Now, verse 23 now. But he who receives seed on good ground. Now, let me say something about good ground. Good ground is a heart that is teachable, that wants to receive the word and take it in and let it grow roots. He who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He produces, he's a doer of the word. So he produces. God is pleased with that person. And believe me, when you please God, God will make sure that he pleases you. He's going to provide whatever it is that you need. Only by having a desire to be in his word will grow the roots one needs to handle all that this world will confront you with. Many will not spend the time to grow deep roots. They'll be that person that has soil, shallow soil, like we just read about in this parable. Many will not spend the time to grow deep roots and will find themselves in situations that makes them struggle in life. But we as Christians will face struggles. We're, we're not immune from the struggles of life. But having roots grounded in God's truth will help you to overcome life's difficulty. So we've got to understand that. You know, as Christians, God didn't promise us a rose garden. It's not going to be all wonderful. We're going to face trials. But you know what? If we're grounded and rooted in God's Word, we'll be able to face them and overcome them. We'll come out on top. God will make sure that we do. By His Word, being rooted in our hearts so that when a problem, a situation arises, we know how to handle it. Now, let's, let's turn to our text. Proverbs Three. Proverbs three. Mm -hmm. Lord is Jesus. <clears throat> Proverbs three. We're gonna read verses one through eight. Everybody have it? Proverbs three. Words of wisdom from King Solomon. Now he says, My son, do not forget my law. In other words, don't forget my word. But let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace, they will add to you. Who wants to have peace and long life? Amen. What do you got to do? Don't forget my word.